What's up guys, Anko Spangin here, and today we are playing as AD Carry Caitlyn in just a quick sub game. Um, but I am starting the recording on the loading screen actually a little early, so I can have more time to talk about something that I really want to talk about with you guys. Um, as you may have noticed, as I've been saying over and over again, things have been uh, not going exactly my way as far as all my videos and my channel and everything goes, so I keep... Um, I keep missing days for uploading or little things like that. It's getting really annoying for me and really repetitive. Um, and I do apologize. But there is something. Oh, hold on. Anyways, I do want to talk to you guys real fast about something that um, really has been getting to me recently. And, I mean, I'm a little sad, honestly. We're going to real talk here for a second. I'm a little sad right now because I've been checking my stats recently a lot. My growth is insane. It's still insane. But this is the first time I've ever had a uh, lower growth than I had previously. So that sent me a little thought of I'm doing something wrong. And it's probably probably me um, failing to upload consistently, which is totally my fault and I will work on it. But, I have noticed recently, and I did feel like it was worth telling you guys, um, very recently, I have been incredibly stressed out from lots and lots and lots of different things. So, to people I've been playing with and to people I've been talking to, I have snapped at some people and I did not mean to. Uh, and I feel bad about it because I aim not to be a dick to people. I really do my best not to. But it was unfair of me to take out my pent-up anger on people that didn't really deserve it. So I do sincerely apologize for that to anyone that I may have been rude to for any reason. Um, and then the other thing I really wanted to talk about real fast before this game got started was I really just wanted to set another goal for myself because about a year ago last January I, uh, oh, I'm not going to be in there in time to leash, I'm sorry. But last January I did set a goal for myself to um to try and start helping people more as far as YouTube goes and I did I've helped quite a few people and I also set a goal for myself to lose weight because I was at a point where I was over 300 pounds um and now you know since then I'm down to actually about 175 so that goal has been achieved and I achieved it like I beautifully I'm really proud of myself because that's taken a lot of time and a lot of dedication um but I wanted to set another goal for myself so I could keep bettering or keep improving myself as a person because I don't feel like more recently than any time else I haven't really been treating people like I try to like my best friends yeah I treat them very well but in general I haven't been treating people as well as I would like to so I'm going to make a very very like huge and lot harder effort to be a better person again um, and just try and treat everyone how I feel they should be treated. Um, whether it's people being disrespectful to me or whatnot, I still feel like they should be treated well. Um, because I see I see no reason to mistreat people usually. And by usually I mean unless you're like a murderer or something, then I don't really see a reason to mistreat someone. With that said though, you guys know my goal in mind. I will be taking random things to try and help myself with it because I know how I am and I know how I act. As you can see, I don't have my chat open this game, because when people do silly things or say really mean or silly things and whatnot, I do have an attitude that makes me want to get involved in it. So I'm just going to keep the chat out of it and keep myself, you know, out of those arguments until I feel like I can just not let myself get the best of me, you know what I mean? So I'm just going to leave that how it is and focus. And with all that said now, now that you guys know everything I've wanted to say, let us go on with this game. As you can see, I am playing AD Carry Caitlyn, like I said earlier. Um, we are playing as with a Soraka as my support, so not exactly the greatest support to go with Soraka, but it should allow me to sit here and just farm forever. Um, but she's not really trying to apply any pressure or anything, which isn't very good from a support's point of view. She's literally standing behind me the entire game, and that's you know not very good she's not putting in much use of anything anywhere there you go there's a little bit 
And there's the heal. Because that like that's the good thing about Soraka lanes is that I can sit here and trade and then she can heal me back up. So that's uh that's the good news. I'm gonna go ahead and just keep autoing her. There we go. Out traded. And then here in just a moment here, Soraka can heal me back up. So also with that, oh yeah, there was one other thing I wanted to say before I really got into this. I will be definitely trying to put more effort into my content again, because there was a time that I kind of put other things first, and now with how, you know, how much I've grown and all the things I do now, I need to really get my shit straight, and this will be, oh, that will be a kill for me. Nice. And let's go ahead and just wail on this guy more. Instead, we're putting that trap down behind it was good. But anyways, as I was saying, I do want to start putting more effort back into my videos again. Because I feel like you guys, with how big I am on YouTube now, I feel like you guys deserve way more out of me. So I'm going to try and give it to you. <sighs> and let's just keep poking this guy down if he's going to keep letting me shoot him with autos. And that will be another auto there, the hook coming out. And that will be no more autos here. But um, pretty much this whole quality improvement thing, I'm going to really work on my mood as I've said. Um, try and just make myself feel better and you know everything I can do and after I it looks like we're getting ganked actually I was not paying any attention as you can see so let's go ahead and yeah just die because I didn't avoid the cocoon I didn't avoid anything so I really need to uh, be paying more attention while I'm talking like this but after I'm done with my rant I should be good uh, I could have flashed I could have buried I could have done a lot a lot a lot of different things there but as you can see I did none of it so let me finish talking here I just want to let you guys know that after I upgrade my internet, get my new microphone in, get a new desk, get everything straightened out for me, and my mom starts feeling better, because as you guys may or may not know, she did have a surgery uh, earlier this week. The surgery went very well, and she's just recovering now, but we have to help take care of her, because she can't really do much on her own yet. Um, it's just a lot of things going on right now. So I hope you guys understand. I do appreciate you guys listening to my ranting. Uh, I know you... A lot of you probably don't really care, but for those of you that do, this is what's been going on. Um, so yeah. So I've just got a lot on my mind. I've got a lot to say that uh, I think I got most of it out of the way. And I think you guys know. I think you guys know at least you know the general what I want to do. So as long as you guys know that, we should be good. Anyways, let's go on with this game because I've been talking for probably eight minutes now just about stuff that. You know, to be 110% honest, you guys probably don't care a whole lot about. But anyways, I did get my BF sword now. Um, not playing very well, just chilling here, doing not a lot. Why did, why didn't Soraka go back? Why, what? Why didn't she go back? Where has she been? Go, go back. Okay, I do have my. As you guys can tell, I do have my chat off the screen, so I can't see it. Uh, I can still type in it if I hit enter and type. Um, but other than that, like, I can't see it at all. So, and this hook will hit me, but it won't really do much other than, uh, eh, I'm not going to die. Whoa, I did not think that that would not hit me. I thought for sure that thing was going to hit me. I just used my berry to mitigate the damage so I wouldn't get dove. Uh, that's a little funky. I'm going to go ahead and hit this, though, so it doesn't interrupt me. <sighs> Looks like Lee Sin coming in here. And I'm just going to chill here for now. I uh, don't really want to get hit. Oh, there goes Thresh's Flash, too. I don't really want to get hit by the enemy, Caitlyn. Because, you know, she'll still do damage even though I have a BF sword on her. Um, but it'll still hurt a lot. So, at least Thresh has no Flash now. I'm going to go ahead and drop a uh, drop a trap in there. Looks like Thresh is still sitting there. He's probably going to try and hook me. There it is. And let's go ahead and just wail on this guy a little bit. Not get hit by that. And I can actually just go ahead and kill him. Because that will be, boop, there's the kill. Looks like Elise coming back in down for the kill on me. I'm not going to be able to get out of that. Because uh, if I had just, if I had uh, flashed, she would have just repelled onto me. And it's a bit of a shame that Elise was able to come in here so freely. Uh, we haven't had any wards down at all, so it's not helping us. And she will be able to get out of there just fine. So that was a good gank on her part. Let's go ahead and pick up a Vampiric Scepter. And pick up some potions. Try and get our head in the game here a little bit. Uh, need wards. There we go. Hopefully I uh, said that right. Yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully I said that. But it doesn't matter. Just trying to give a little note before I can get back into this. I feel like without a chat too I can try and focus more when I'm not talking my ass off. 
but we should be good. Now that I, now that I'm good, I gotta get into this, you know, it's like, okay. At least chilling in mid, and LeBlanc going to get out of there just fine. Apparently, another time that people didn't go back for some reason. It was like Soraka ultimate just went off, and that will, oh no, it, oh, looks like it was a good enough help to uh, really benefit the team. Maybe, I mean, Soraka got an assist, that's cool. Soraka, please no. Soraka, please stop hitting that. I didn't need to queue it. I probably didn't need to queue it. Let's go ahead and drop that there. Thresh is always in the bush because my Soraka... I mean, it's not really her fault. She can't... Okay, you can't be sitting there star calling, though. But she can't really establish bush control with Soraka, so Thresh is really free to do next to whatever he wants. Um, if you're playing Soraka, unless you're actually trying to push the wave, don't be the support that sits there and star calls all the time because that really does not help. Um, like, it really, really doesn't help when I'm trying to sit here and CS. And we're getting teleports down here, so I'm going to go ahead and net him, not get hit by the cleaver, and just run over here. It looks like, uh, eh, I'm probably dead, so that's a bit of a shame. I don't know why people are ganking me so much. I'm going to go ahead and flash over this wall. And there's her flash, too, so that's a little funny that, uh, flash for flash. And that will be the third gank already coming down here. I don't know why... I'm getting focused so much, I have literally no clue why. Um, it's a bit of a shame, though. Did Riven... What happened to Riven? How is she losing to Mundo so hard? Is she losing? 59 to 31. No, she just... Did she get poked out or something? I don't know what's going on up there. Whatever, she's doing a good thing right now, getting trying to get the tower. So hopefully she'll be able to do that. Looks like LeBlanc. Distortion, Sigil, Ignite coming down. We'll pick up the kill. The Mimic coming out. Or not the Mimic. The uh, the little clone thing. The passive. And that will be the end of that. Because it looks like they're not going to do much unless they get cocooned and sniped. The spear is not going to land. Leeson's going to eat that spider. And that will be that. So. Uh, this game's not looking too good for us personally so far and I'm just gonna go ahead and knock it hooked again and we'll just uh... like we really need wards in these bushes cuz I can't do anything with Soraka where she is um... and even if I had my chat like I wouldn't be able to tell her anything she's way too far away from doing anything like there's nothing I can say and there's nothing we can really do now especially in mirror matchups when you fall behind in a mirror matchup the game's pretty much done um, there's not much you can do I'm just gonna go ahead and eat that it doesn't matter and get my potion popping just chill here he doesn't have mana so I'm not too worried about like any hooks or anything so I'm just going to keep this up here and it looks like my entire team is coming down for some reason I have no idea why Everyone is down here. Like, why is why is Riven all the way down here for now? What, the, what, what happened top lane? Neither of the towers are down, and both top laners are gone. This is weird. I don't I don't know how that works. Like, I mean, it's good we got the dragon, but I don't think. Oh, hello. Let's go ahead and just do some damage over here to you. And wait, wait. Uh, all right. I got the spear. I got the net off, so that will kill her. Uh, the slow is enough to try and get that kill. Q coming out from Lee Sin, not going to land, and that will be Thresh's flash. I'm just going to go ahead and start pushing, because Mundo's pushing the top tower down. So I'm going to try and answer it with the bot tower. So, we got to try and get this pronto, and we'll see if we can do anything to it. Uh, whoop, just going to hit these, hit this, and Q. And boop. Try and kill these back minions a little bit. Wham, wham, wham. And actually, Mundo didn't get the top turret, so that's good for us. I'm going to go ahead and drop a trap under her feet. There we go. That made her back off. <laughs> that's kind of funny. But just do a bunch of damage to her, or to the tower, so. Bunch of stuff coming out. Let's go ahead and just do that and walk on out of here. There goes her ultimate again. Elise is at her blue right now, so we should just get out of here likely. And it looks like Nidalee's down here too now. Uh, what? Did everyone go back from that fight just now? Really? Or did they die? No, they didn't die. They just all went back. So, yeah, Soraka's going to tank that for me. And I'm just going to get out of here. Uh, I really don't know what Soraka's running to be so squishy. So, that's a little funky. But that is also okay. It looks like 
our Riven's on a rampage now, so that's good though. Able to just run up there and kill the Mundo. Mundo has literally no HP, so that's, that's not good for Mundos. It's much, much more efficient on Mundo to uh, build HP as opposed to resistances at first because your ultimate synergizes more with having more HP. And that was a very good play on Thresh's part, knocking Lee Sin out of his Q. The box coming down, and that will slow them down a little bit. Looks like the hook coming down Soraka and Thresh going back in. The Q coming out onto Caitlyn, but will not follow up with it. At least I have my Bloodthirster now, so I can hopefully start getting stacks and hopefully try and do something in this lane. Riven taking the top tier will help quite a lot. And let's go ahead and just uh, keep pushing up in here. Boop. I was trying to keep an eye on Thresh to see if he was going back. See if he was going to try and go back, I would just try and do a bunch of damn or uh, run up there and queue him and see if I could do something. But nope, he's just sitting there regening. And Elise is probably going to try and gank me again. Maybe not, because he just uses Lantern, or his Dark Passage, so he's probably not trying to set up a gank or anything. But I'm just going to queue this, and, boop, and no, I missed two of those. I'm just going to get all that and then go back. And now I can go back and get my Berserker Greaves, and that should help. That should help a decent amount, actually. Let's see, it looks like Nidalee maybe in a pickle here. No distortion, no? Yeah, what the? Oh, nope, Elise is there, so she needs to get out of here. Sorak ultimate coming out, Lee Sin coming in, and that will be... Oh, come on. Oh, I was really hoping there would be something awesome, like he would kick Elise into Nidalee for the kill. That's what I would have tried to do. I would have tried to do it, because I like to do things like that. It makes me laugh really hard. Looks like Mundo coming in, though. Finding a ribbon right in his path, the Flash and ultimate coming out, and that should be Mundo's ticket out of here. Looks like the Q will land onto him, and that will be the Flash Alt into the Riven Stun, and that will be a dead Mundo. Great teamwork coming out from my buddies up there, so great job to them. Thank you. It looks like they're carrying me this game, because I'm not playing well at all. Um, fell behind in this mirror matchup, not much I can truly do, especially when it's, you know, especially when she's not really aiming to assist me too much. Like, she needs to be up here right now. Thresh can't help her. Uh, so this is good for us. Like, this is really good. <laughs> and she has no mana. Like, what are they gonna do, right? Looks like Nidalee on her way bottom, so we're just gonna back off. Nope, never mind. Nidalee just running back up mid, so... <sighs> when you're playing Soraka, you really do need to be way more up front. Um helping because you excel in trading. You excel in the lane phase, and if you're not going to dominate lane, then Soraka is not going to be very useful. Um, and by, I mean that as in, like, you have to be a strong trader to dominate in lane. Like, your AD carry has to be a good AD carry for trading. Because obviously, if, you know, sitting there with someone who can't trade at all, you're not going to be having much success. And we need to get out of here because Nidalee's probably, we're probably coming back down to our lane. And there she is, speak of the devil. Same with Elise, so another gank coming out. We're just going to get out of here, no problem. The cocoon, where is it? The cocoon, where is it? The co There's the cocoon, still hitting me, but she's not going to be able to kill me. So, I'm not too concerned about that. Just going to chill here, and that will be a lot of damage off on her. The, oh, hello. It looks like Lee Sin coming in big, and that will be the flash right there, kicking her right back into us. So, I'll just pick up this kill, and that will be, uh... Uh, come back. Oh my god. Whatever. I'll just get this one too. Or I'll just... Yeah, there we go. What the hell? He flashed onto me. Uh, okay, whatever. He flashed onto me. My team responded to that gank very nicely. So, great job on their part. It looks like... Oh yeah, Riven got the top turret a while ago. So, great job there. And let's go ahead and pick up this one. That'll be two kills for me. And now I should be able to get right back into this game. To the point where I look like I might be doing, doing some work myself. Um, because I will be able to get my zeal on this next pack, so that will help me quite a lot. And I think, I think this game I would probably go with Shiv personally. Uh, I usually find more success when I build Shiv, so, I mean, what it really comes down to is Fam Dancer is better for team fighting, where Shiv is better for pushing. So whatever your teammates are doing, that's what you should be looking to do as well. Or not teammates, but whatever you need to be doing more is what you should be looking to do as well. Let's go ahead and get out of here because Elise is here. Um, so I'm just going to drop another trap there. And Nope, never mind. No need to do that. Let's go ahead and drop a Q here. And that will hit her. Lee Sin taking the dragon on his own. Looks like uh, no one's stepping on that trap. Why? Stop it. Stop, ste stop not stepping on... Oh my god, that shield tank for me. 
What a guy. What a guy. Let's go ahead and just do some damage to this guy. And that will be some damage, and I will get the assist for that. Let's go ahead and just net away from her. And, whoa, whoa, they are, like, all over me. Or she is all over me, not they. I'm just going to help her get this, because this should go to LeBlanc, or, you know, whatever. Let's just, uh, there we go. I was kind of banking on my crit hit and not stealing that, and I'm glad it didn't, because that would have been kind of awkward. Let's see, Mundo over here, and we'll just do some damage to him. Him, uh, him popping his ultimate for us is really, really good, because uh, now he's not going to have that for anything. I don't know why. I mean, that was a good kick, but it didn't really get him towards any of us, so a little questionable almost, but still okay. Let's just get out of here and start trying to work on this tower. I'm going to fucking eat this for you, Riven. You ate something for me, I will let you do your recall. So I got you, baby girl. I got you, too. And let's go ahead and just work on this tower a little bit. Lee Sin, stay in here with me like a true man. Looks like he's missing that cue. Gonna not get hooked here, so let's just, uh... You know, let's just play with him a little bit. Let's get these two potions popping. Looks like a ward coming out there. Never mind, I probably shouldn't keep playing. There's quite a few of them. We already took their blue, so there's no reason to keep trying to steal it. Uh, and I should be able to go back and get my shiv very, very soon, if not already. So, zeal, shiv, yes, as a matter of fact, I can, and I'm just going to start shooting this from over the wall. And, no troll, thank you. I was hoping she wouldn't troll me by taking it down here and running away from it, because then I wouldn't be able to, you know, auto it, I would have to hit it with a Q. But she didn't, so, nice lady, thank you very much. And let's work on this. As you guys can probably tell, my energy level is not super high this video. Uh, I did not sleep well last night, I'm sorry. Uh, but I am very, very excited for my new microphone. Gonna start going. Gonna start sleeping better soon. Gonna start doing a lot of things better soon. So you can count on that. Because I'm counting on it. And I will be, uh... I'll be bringing back that vibe that I had before. Because I feel like, personally, if you guys didn't watch me, like, a year ago, you might not know what I'm talking about, but a little while ago I had this specific vibe of excitement that... I just, oh shit, oh shit, no, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, jeez, jerk, I did not even see that Elise there, alright, let's just chill here, and it looks like the spear coming out, not going to connect, let's not get cleaved here, let's not get hit by much here, I mean, you know, obviously not getting hit by things is beneficial, spear coming out, let's go ahead and just do a bunch of damage to her, and ultimate, pro oh, it will kill her actually, so, sick kill right there. It looks like Lee Sin coming. I'm going to drop a trap there. Just start doing a bunch of damage to him. And that will be, oh, <laughs> a very dead Dr. Mundo. And let's see, Caitlyn and Thresh coming in hot here. But I do have my red buff. Oh, you hooked me, son. You hooked me, son. But I am just going to keep going in because I don't give a good goddamn. Let me just, uh, yeah, there we go. Let me get on some of that ass. There we go. Picking up my rampage, putting me at 6, 3, and 8 after going, what, like 2, 3, and garbage? 2, 3, and terrible? 2, 3, and something. And we'll get this inhibitor. Looks like she's going to tank that spear for me. Or, uh, for whoever. I don't think it was intentional that they tanked the spear, but they did. And I, I love them. I love I love them for that. But I'm going to walk up here and push this tower down with my uh, with the help of my minions. So I'm just going to ward that right there just for a bit of extra vision. And I'll go ahead and just attack, move, attack, move, attack, move, attack, move, attack, move, attack, move. And there we go. Just going to pick up this tower real fast for absolutely no penalties at all. And it looks like, I mean, they want me to run, but what do I, what am I running from? I ain't no puss. I, I should probably run. This is, this is looking like a good time to run. Oh my goodness gracious, the LeBlanc jukes, but they will not be enough, it looks like. Let's go ahead and, ooh, ooh, oh, hello, what are you... You went on the wrong one! You silly willy fuck! Yes! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What the hell? There's an Italy there too! Alright, the entire team's there. Riven is just beating up on her though. There's the kill. And it looks like, wait, two kills! Go, go for it, Riven. Just go for it, girl. Lisa coming up to help you. What the heck? Don't pussy out like that! That could have been a freaking quadra kill for you, you chumba wumba! Oh my goodness gracious. Still a great play though. Still a one for five. And that should be the top inhibitor as well, unless Elise can stop, you know, three of them. Or four of them, because Soraka's going to be there momentarily. And after they get this, I will be able to hook up my last whisper, so that will be great. What the heck, LeBlanc? Don't pussy out, LeBlanc. Stop it. 
LeBlanc, just hit the tower. LeBlanc, get, get the goddamn tower! Thank you. <laughs> I really needed them to get the tower for the money. Um, it looks like they're busy defending their Nexus turrets, so... You know, they should... Can you guys just... Yeah, that, that that's the more important thing right now. Now she's dead. Just just get the inhibitor. Just get the inhibitor. Get, there you go. That would have gone so much smoother for our team if they just got the inhibitor and ran out instead of getting super duper greedy. But I think... I think Riven should be fine to get out. I'm going to run up there and see if I can help out. Uh, I don't know. Oh, wait. Lee Sin's up there. I was going to say, I thought that was an enemy. But looks like they're going in, and I may be able to help. Merp. Merp. Oh, my damage. And merp. <laughs> uh, he went the wrong way. I was really hoping that would kill Nidalee. It was very close, but it was not enough to kill her. So... Let's just push down these turrets. Uh, what? There we go. Just do some more damage to them. Oh, you jerk. You jerk. You jerk. Stop. Stop. Jeez. Tower freaking shooting me constantly? What the porpoise is this? What the heck? Do you, who do you think you are, Mr. Tower? There we go. There's the cocoon. There's the spear. Let's just do our best. Not to whoa, whoa, whoa. Hello. And that will be, uh, oh no, uh, oh god, what, 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 what is going, what is going on, what is going on, what is going, oh, book, oh, get me out of here, get me out of here, no, I got cocooned, thank goodness that didn't happen in a, like a really bad situation or anything, that could have been bad, mm hmm, I'll stop that home guard right there, now let's go ahead and just drop some traps out here, do some damage to this dude, and this will be... Whoa! Let's not get hit by another thing. Let's just work on this tower now. Managing to survive all that chaos from constant attack moving. It looks like my trap will take its first victim. So what the heck? Ha! I made her eat it. There we go. Oh, that damage! She did cocoon me like point blank, but was not enough. So let's just uh, do as much damage as... I should be killing the Caitlyn. There we go. Alright, I'll just, yeah, I will just kill them both. That's, that's cool too. It looks like, th wait, where's, where's Thresh? Oh, there he is. It looks like, uh, no. Oh. No, I wanted the other kill to pad my score a little bit. I was a little puzzled where he was going. I thought he would run back into his base, but he did not. So, hopefully, uh, you guys still enjoyed that game, even though it wasn't my best one ever. It was actually played pretty poorly, especially in lane phase where Caitlyn's strong. Um... But hopefully you guys are on my side with this. I really hope you guys will join me in trying to better myself. And maybe you guys could even try and better yourselves too. Um, just try and be better people. Try and do some good deeds for other people. And, I mean, it makes it does help you feel like a better person in general. So, maybe we can do this together. Either way, I'm doing this myself. Because I really feel like I need to. And I would really like to get my YouTube channel back on track for what it was. Because I, I started taking things for granted. I really need to not do that. So, with that said, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you like and favor it helps me out. If you want to, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Twitch. I'll throw links to be in the description below. And as always, I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace!